try to relax your anus. Good afternoon, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, craft dinner is 55 cents a box here at the Stanley Park Zayer. So, guys, I would utilize that deal because, bitch, 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 that is incredible. Like, 55 cents per box, like, holy shit, that is, ooh. Zares is finally helping us broke people, so you gotta respect them for the. Hey, why can't I talk? You blew it. You gotta respect them for that, so yeah. So we are currently here at Stanley Park Mall because I don't know. I don't know. It's cold. Like, I mean, it's cold. Like, bitch, please. I fucking hate the cold. I fucking hate the cold guys Ooh, but yeah I just came to check out the Canadian Tire Construction because I really have nothing better to do today I already got two videos done so why not make it three there's like three places in here to shop really? Ooh. I miss the old Walmart. I was never there when it was open, but it was one of the best abandoned properties that I was able to explore. I can't believe they tore it down. Like, that is... Yeah, I can't believe they tore it down. They really didn't have to, but apparently they did. I'm assuming it's because Canadian Tire needed more space for their automotive section, but who the fuck knows? Speaking of Canadian Tire, it is starting to resemble one a bit more. Last time we were here, it was just a big metal structure. There's still no grand opening date, but it is projected to open fall 2024, as you guys can probably see. But goddamn. Still can't believe they took down the Walmart though. Like, I remember driving past on the bus that day and I was like, where the fuck did the Walmart go? But, yeah. And I was so pissed that I missed the demolition. Like, I know I love that property, but you know me, I love some good quality smashy smashy and, ugh, why do you always have to deprive me of smashy smashy God? Why? You are an asshole. Your son's hot, so that kind of makes up for it. I love you, Jesus. If you're single, hit your boy up. But yeah. The only reason I keep making those religious jokes is because it pisses you guys off a lot, apparently. Like, Andrew, you can't be talking about Jesus like that. When you tell me not to do something, it makes me want to do it even more, so... Fuck you. Lens check. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Let's head to the other side of the mall now. To see some more Canadian Tire action. Are they going to connect the entrances again, or is that just going to remain walled off? Not sure. Dollar Tree. I goddamn love Dollar Tree. Speak. 
speaking of the Lord, Why is this door locked? Bitch, please. You blew it. So yeah. It is a lot fucking bigger than the Walmart. I'll give them that, but still. I don't know. Looks like they're redoing all the entrances too. Well, they're getting a new anchor, so why the fuck not? You know what really sucks though? The Walmart they demolished was originally a Zeller's, so. They had the audacity to demolish a former Zeller's, which is just, I don't know. We do dry cleaning. This doesn't look like the most dry cleany store, but okay, we can go with that. I wouldn't call this a dead mall yet, but it's getting close. Hopefully when Canadian Tire opens, it brings some more businesses here. Because they got Chopper's Drug Mart and Zares, which is pretty damn good. Ooh. Dolores, please do not copyright me. I beg you. That would not be very ideal. You whore. Why am I wearing my hood still? Why do I do that? I still like shake my head like I have hair. <laughs> I don't have any hair. My luscious locks are gone. Ugh. Still fucking hate it. <laughs> but yeah. Ugh. I'm a dumbass, guys. I'm a dumbass. So yeah, Stanley Park is a pretty nice mall. It would be unfortunate to see it go under. But yeah. I know it's cold, but this morning was so much colder. I was filming a video at Chuck E. Cheese and it was like, God damn, I almost thought I was gonna get fucking frostbite. It was, it was that bad. It was that bad. I'm still thinking about the $55 craft dinner boxes. Like, fuck me, that is still a great deal. You blew it. That is still a great deal. Like, fuck. Them bitches go for like 250 a box now. Like. How are they selling it that cheap? <clears throat> I wouldn't consider this a thriving neighborhood, but... All right. I'm the angry Ontarian, not the judgmental Ontarian, so... We better not be judging people.
looks pretty similar to the Weaver's Airs now. I was doing a video there yesterday. It's up on the channel. It just has music in the background, no narration or anything like that, but I had to end it off pretty suddenly because this displeased looking employee was like staring me down. Sword bitches, the camera died, but yeah, so I walked past this very disgruntled looking employee, like, bitch, he looked pissed off. I don't know what people's problem is, like, it's not like I'm shoving my camera in their face, I'm just, I'm filming the ambiance of the store, that's what I'm doing, but yeah. So he was looking all pissed off, and next thing I know, over the loudspeaker, it was like, security to zone two, please, security to zone two. And my ass was in zone two, so I kind of booked it out of that store, so yeah. Everything still fit perfectly. It was a great video, but that scared the fuck out of me. And you know me, I don't get along with security very well because security are a bunch of bitches. That is just the moral of the story. Hashtag fuck security. So yeah, here's the clip of that. I can't go anywhere, like, maybe you should do your job and try to prevent people from shoplifting, not go after the guy with the GoPro, like, bitch please, what do you think I'm doing, casing out the joint so I can rob it? No, I am not doing that, but, I don't know. <sighs> I feel like such a goddamn criminal, like, <laughs> going to places, but, I don't know, guys. I need to go find the job because your boy drank a whole liter of Pepsi before he got here and I need to piss like a racehorse. Like goddamn. So guys, please stand by and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys. I am back and I was just re-watching some of the footage and I realized I fucked up big time. I said $55 trapped in a box, like, goddamn Andrew, you blew it. You really blew it. You blew it. Whew. So yeah, that is like super fucking embarrassing. Like, if those motherfuckers were going for $55 a pop, I would totally not recommend it. But 55 cents? Yeah, bitch. We can go with that. Fucking $55 craft dinner box. Like, that would be some amazing craft dinner. But, goddamn. Like some of these high-end restaurants that sell mac and cheese like for 40 bucks. Craft dinner is better than that sometimes, so I don't know. Like I swear to God, the East Side Mario's, our spaghetti and meatballs literally tasted like Chef Boyardee and we were selling it for like 25 bucks a pop. Like fuck me, that was, that was bad. Like, bad. Okay, let me check when the bus is coming. Where the fuck's my phone? Oh, 
here. I don't know what a bus I'm taking, but a bus that would take me back to Fairway would be nice. Well, apparently Route 1 to Fairway is going to be here in six minutes, so I guess we're taking Route 1, bitches. Sorry guys, lens obstruction, but my god. $55 box of crab dinner, like, holy fuck. I am an absolute retard, guys. Like, that is so goddamn embarrassing. Like I said, it's not as cold as this morning, thank God, but it's still pretty fucking cold. I am such a bitch of a Canadian because I can't handle the cold. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of pathetic because people that just moved to Canada can handle it, but me being born and raised and I can't handle it really says something, doesn't it? $5 box of crap dinner. What the fuck is wrong with you, Andrew? I don't know. I just don't know. So guys, I guess, please stand by. I'll see y'all bitches when the bus arrives and we'll end things off from there. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am back. And we are currently on bus 21405, a 2014 new flyer Excelsior, which is pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, these guys are not very common. I think there's only like six of them in the fleet, and they only seem to go on the routes where other buses have broken down or something like that, so yeah. Yes, bitches. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. There's the Canadian tire. I will never forgive myself for the $55 craft dinner box, guys. Like, goddamn. Goddamn. Thing. Shut up, Judy. But, <sighs> like, I really fucked up, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, that is just so embarrassing. But, yeah. So, guys, I guess please stand by. I'll see you guys at Fairway because I want to get an exterior shot of this bus. And... We will end things off from there, for real this time. So, yeah, fuck off. There we go, guys. 21405. From the exterior, they look identical to the 2013s, but there's a couple changes in the interior that makes it noticeable for crazy bus enthusiasts, that is. Normal people would not know the difference because why would they? Why would they? That is pretty much that. <laughs> so yeah. Whew. It is so cold. It is so cold. They killed the 8022 for you guys. Fucking bastards. You guys, 
will never be as great as she was. Eight zero two two was just something special. But yeah, at least they're putting some effort into the new electric buses, so that's pretty cool, but murdering our lord and savior to add those monstrosities into the fleet is just not good. And holy fuck, there's 302, please stand by. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna miss the bus. That would have sucked ass, but yeah. Oh. Looks like I didn't have to run like a complete moron, but I still did. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing. If you absolutely fucking hated it, there's a button down there for you too. And my friends, like always, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.